You told me more than once to show you my intention. Hi, and thanks for joining me for our careers learning videos. This video is about your post 16 options. So, the options that are available to you after you've finished your GCSE. It can be quite daunting to make this decision. Some people just fall into it and make it quite easily. But don't panic if that's not working for you. Some people do take just more time to think through those options before they make a final decision. Some people decide and then change their minds and end up doing something different. And that's all okay. So, um, there's lots of information out there to help you, lots of support to help you through this process. So, firstly, whatever you decide, don't forget to explore all of your options. Sometimes the option that you think of the least is sometimes the best one and vice versa. The option you might go for initially may not be the best option for you. So think about all the options available and explore what's there. Gathering information is going to help you make an informed, realistic decision. Rather than just going with um, what you're initially presented with, sometimes there's hidden information or things you don't first realise. So try and gather as much as you possibly can. Thinking about what suits you, not just what your friends are doing or what somebody else says you ought to do. Thinking it through for yourself. So a general overview of all your options at post 16 after your GCSE. So the options are staying on in your current academy. So um, for the sixth form. That can involve a range of options, obviously depending on, on what academy you're currently in and what's on offer. So again, find out the full range of subjects that are there um, available to you. You could attend another sixth form that might include grammar schools, other forms of academies. You might want to go to a college. There are quite a few colleges available depending on where you live and how far out you're willing to travel. Apprenticeships for some may be an option. Some people prefer apprenticeships because they're earning a wage and they're getting work experience whilst they're learning and getting a qualification out of it. But think this through because it's not always the best option for everybody. You may want to do work with training. A lot of people want to go straight into work and they really don't want to be in the formal work, um, formal learning environment. But if you are going to go into work and get a job, it's important to remember um, that you are getting some sort of learning with that. That could be part-time learning. It doesn't have to be related to the job that you're in or if you're running your own business at 16, some people are already doing that. You don't have to do learning that coincides with that. Um, it can be resitting your GCSEs at an adult learning centre, for example, but just make sure you are doing some sort of part-time learning alongside that work option and the learning that you're doing needs to lead to a, um, a nationally recognised qualification. There are other options as well for those of you who don't fit in the, to the first five categories. Um, other training might involve a football scholarship for those of you who are involved with that and may be offered that. Um, some of you may want to go into the, um, the British um, Armed Forces. How to decide. There are various things you can do if you're struggling to decide. You can talk to other people. Obviously your parents and your friends and your family and, and your teachers, people in your, your head of sixth form, um, maybe other students that are doing courses that you're thinking of doing to find out what it's really like learning on that course or at that establishment. You can consider the different career options. There are a whole range of websites out there. Please check out our website to check out how you can learn about different job industries and the different job roles within them. Research those options, really think about them, really what's involved, looking at the whole picture and not just what you're initially presented with. Think about what a bad day might look like as well as what a good day might look like in that job because you get in a whole picture by doing that rather than just, um, just a narrow view. You get in kind of the whole flavour of what it's like to do that kind of job or work in that industry. The, the challenges that might be involved in that option as well. Exploring the different pathways. So there, for many careers there's more than just one way into that job. For example, you might need A-levels for some jobs for, but for other jobs you may not. Um, college might be a good option on, on an apprenticeship. So find out the different pathways available to you for that particular career. There are some careers, work careers where you will really need your A-levels and other courses may not um, gain you 
adequate entry into that job. So you do need to really think about these things. Think about your preferred learning style. Everybody learns differently. Some people learn in a less formal environment like hands-on training um, and are more practical and others um, like the formal learning environment. It's just different for everybody. So find out, think about who you are as a person and what's going to work for you. Consider all the options available. Um, again, this is about the different pathways, the different courses available. There's more than one course you might be able to do and more than one option. So think about all those different options that, that are open to you. And don't forget to see a careers advisor. That's what we're here for. We're here to help and we're here to guide you through this process. We can't make that decision for you, obviously. Um, that's for you to decide, but we can give you some really good information and help you along your way into making that final decision. So if you've got any questions, please pop them through. You can drop them at the bottom of this um, video if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, if not, you can email us, um, contact your own schools and academies to speak to relevant staff to be able to contact us this way. Thanks for listening. Take care and goodbye.